Hey guys, it's Idara. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is really important because it's freaking cuffing season, okay? Okay. <laughs> Part of our feminine journey is understanding our worth and not settling for less. So in this video, I thought it would be fun to share what my, how many, 13, a whole 13 red flags, um, what my first date red flags are, things that with time and with experience I've learned to look out for. So if you're looking for like a mid to long term relationship, I think these red flags would be red flags for you. If not, it might be like orange flags or maybe not a flag at all. And these red flags don't necessarily mean the person is a bad person, it just means that it's this person is not fit for what I'm looking for in a relationship, so yeah. Okay, so number one red flag to me, which is definitely a deal breaker, is if my date is rude to service. Because this just shows how this guy treats people he considers are of lower status than him, and there's nothing I hate more than an ego in a guy. Beyonce messed us up. Oh, I love a big ego. I hate a big ego, and I don't know why she said that. There's a huge difference between ego and confidence. Confidence is you don't need to prove yourself to anybody, right? It just shows how much importance this person puts in his status, and they, the status does not mean anything. Every single individual in this world has something valuable to share. I don't know what Beyonce was thinking of that song. I think she was singing about something else. So the second red flag for me would be that he's too into me. If I'm on a date with somebody and he's constantly saying, you're so beautiful, oh my god, I'm so into you, like I'm falling in love with you, that's definitely a red flag for me, especially if it's our first date, because it just means that he's into the image of me, he's into what he sees, but how can you be that into me and you don't know who I am? So it just shows that the guy doesn't put value in who I actually am. I'm definitely flattered but it's def it's still a red flag for me. It just feels very superficial. So red flag number three is my date does not ask me questions. It just means that he's not that into me or he's not interested in getting to know me and that's definitely a red flag. And if he doesn't ask questions about the things you're saying, it means that he doesn't really care about what you're talking about either. If the guy really wants to get to know you, if the guy's really interested in you, he's going to ask questions. Even if it's not on the topic he cares much about, just because you care about that topic, he's gonna listen, you know, just to get to understand how you think more. Number four is the dude is always on his phone oh my god i have come across people who just cannot get off their phone when i'm on a date i will not bring on my phone unless it's to take pictures of the you know of the food and i'm like oh wait let me just take a picture for the gram and i make it fun you know and so like we have a little laugh and i put the phone away and that's it it stops there you know i'll post it later i understand emergencies and if you're polite about it i will not mind but if you're rude about it like you're constantly looking at your phone while I'm talking. I just find that freaking rude. There are respectful ways of complimenting your beauty. So he could call you beautiful, you can say you're stunning, gorgeous, totally. Like, I love those. But saying you're sexy, calling me babe, saying, oh my god, you're so hot. No, <laughs> no thank you. That's definitely a red flag for me. It makes me feel like you've just sexualized me in two seconds and that's all is that's on your mind. So definitely pay attention to compliments. The things guys say to you give off so much on what their intentions are, so it's really important to pay attention to those. Um, once again, it depends on what you're looking for, but if you're looking for like a mid to long term relationship, if he's sexual on the first date, it's probably not what he's looking for. So that's definitely a red flag for me. Anything more than a kiss on a first date to me is definitely a red flag. So I've talked to guys about this and they've said that when they see a girl as a potentially serious partner, they're usually more careful. They usually want to make sure that they don't slip up, they don't make a mistake, and they, they're very aware of their actions, you know. There's a huge difference when a guy just really sees you as a potential partner they treat you so differently than if a guy sees you as a potential like one night stand or a potential not so serious partner, you know? Red flag number seven is actually a big one for me. I've actually dated and this was the only red flag there was and I chose to ignore it because it was literally the only thing but it was the biggest thing. And it's he constantly talks about his ex or he's constantly bashing his exes. <sighs> First of all, I have a rule. What happened in the past stays in the past. When I'm dating somebody, and this might sound weird actually, but I don't wanna know anything about their exes. I feel like now in the present time, I have enough to assess you with, and I'm, I don't define people by their pasts. I define them by who they are now, how they're acting right now, how they're treating me. And when a person starts talking to me about their exes constantly, either means they're not over their ex or their ex is still in their life. Um, I don't want to be dating somebody who has their past still in their mind, you know, who has their exes still in their mind. When I'm done with a relationship, I take the lessons that I've learned from that relationship, you know, 
as lessons but i'm not thinking about that person anymore like the way i erase people from my mind is crazy like no matter how strong the relationship with what's the point of holding on to that you know it's only going to weigh down whatever new relationship you have so it's definitely a red flag for me when guys start talking about their exes another thing is when they start bashing their exes if one day you become an ex he might bash you and what that means as well is that he's somebody who doesn't take any accountability in relationships he's he's never at fault if it's always his ex's fault that things happen that means he just never feels like he's an issue it takes two to make a relationship work so when a guy constantly puts the blame on his exes, that just means that he just never sees himself at fault. And that is not somebody you want to get in a relationship with. You know, we all make mistakes and we all need to understand that. So yeah, huge red flag. <laughs> red flag number eight is that this guy is way too dependent on his parents for many things. So it could either be financially or when it comes to decision making. So obviously, parents can always give in their input. Of course, they're older, they've experienced life more, they have lessons to share, but I don't want them to have an actual decision making power when it comes to my relationship you see what i'm saying on both sides so it's definitely a huge red flag when i see the guys dependent financially on his parents or even decision making wise in certain cultures the children are simply extensions of a family and so you are basically marrying the whole family and it works for some people i'm just not like that same time if i see a guy can be disrespectful to his mom in any way that's a huge red flag as well okay, red flag number nine is that he does not take disagreement well to me it's completely normal for two people to disagree on something in a relationship people are going to disagree so you need to be able to disagree in a healthy way somebody who doesn't feel like they can ever be wrong is somebody who's not going to be able to grow in life growth is having being able to change your views in life based on things you've learned. I do not want to build anything with anybody who is not capable of growth, you know? Um, red flag number 10 would be his core values don't match mine. As much as you guys fall in love and all of that, down the road, there's gonna be a problem, there's gonna be a clash. Imagine you guys have kids, like whose values are you gonna teach to the kids, especially if they're opposing values? I think it's totally fine to date people from different religious backgrounds as you because you can still have core values that are the same especially when it comes to religion i feel like a lot of religions have this the same core values and if you don't focus on like the specifics of the religion and you just focus on the core values things can be totally fine you know if those core values are not the same it's not gonna work out down the line that's for sure and i've i've learned that the hard way you know and you can never ask anybody to change and never change for anybody in the end you're not going to be happy because you're not being your authentic self and that's very detrimental to you so red flag number 11 is that he does not read so i actually ask this on the first date do you read i feel like that just makes you more open-minded being able to see things from another person's point of view i feel like it's a level of understanding of others that you acquire from reading and that's just definitely important for me so that's one of my personal red flags red flag number 12 is a last minute cancellation oh my god ladies i know you guys hate this too you've put on makeup you've done your hair you've picked out an outfit maybe even bought a whole outfit for the date I'm an introvert, I need to prepare mentally to go out. Just so much goes into it and all that preparing and then you get a text saying, hey, sorry, I can't make it. Um, yeah, that's a huge red flag for me. Most of the time, I actually don't give that person another chance, especially if it's the first date, you know. And if they're already standing you up now, imagine later on when they're more comfortable. Unless there's like an emergency or something happened, you know, that was unpredictable, then I totally get it. So the last red flag might be a bit controversial for some, but if the guy makes me pay for half of the bill, especially on the first date, that's a big indication of what kind of relationship he wants. There's nothing wrong with wanting a 50-50 relationship. I don't want to be the one to have to provide financially. I'll provide in so many other ways, but not financially. And a lot of guys actually do want to be a provider. I'm not forcing anybody to be a provider. I just want a guy who wants to be a provider. And sometimes I feel like women feel almost obligated to be not only a homemaker, but also a financial provider for the family while the guy is only a financial provider. That does not feel like 50-50 to me. Balance is key. I always have enough to pay for myself and I always offer to pay. And I'll never be salty about somebody asking me to pay half. I ate the food. I, if you want me to pay, I'll definitely pay. I don't even want to say it's a red flag because there's nothing wrong with it. 
but it's a red flag for me and for what I'm looking for. I just want to make this clear for everybody listening out there that I'm not looking to be dependent on a man. I will always be in a position where I can be independent. The worst thing you can do for yourself is rely on a man financially and then it doesn't work out and you have no choice but to stay with that person because you depend on that person. That's it for my 13 red flags when it comes to dating. Let me know down below if you have any red flags that I did not mention or if you disagree with some of these red flags. Once again, these are personal red flags based on what I'm looking for in a relationship and so yeah it might be different for you based on what you're looking for in a relationship but um yeah let me know what your red flags are things that a guy would do that you know would make you feel like you guys are not compatible if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when i post more videos thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye